Hello and welcome back to the lesson 10 of the tutorial series simulating your custom robotic arm in ROS Noetic. In our previous tutorial, we had created a, a manipulator package using Moveit Setup Assistant for our custom robotic arm and we had launched the uh, by default generated demo underscore gazebo dot launch file and we saw that we get some issue like parser error like parse as old deprecated model file failed so this happens because of the buggy launch file created by the move it setup assistant so in this tutorial we will remove all the issues in the newly created uh, manipulator package and we will create our own launch file to load the simulation so let's get started i will stop the running simulation so it will take some time to end all the uh, buggy processes that are running Now I will close this terminal. Now open the PDF file that I have provided in the video description and go on to the page 25. Here I have explained the steps to configure the Moveit package to work properly. So in this package, the first thing we need to do is we need to write a new ROS controller for connecting the joint trajectory controller that we had created uh, for our robotic arm. If you have not watched that video, please watch it here. So we are going to connect that joint trajectory controller with the uh, our ROS manipulator or move it package so that it will uh, connect with our robotic arm. Here in, uh, if you go to your uh, move it package or the uh, manipulator package that you had created, if you go to your uh, home directory, your catkin workspace, SRC folder, here is the uh, manipulator package that we had created using move it setup assistant. If you open that, if you open the config folder, here you will find the roscontrollers.yml file which is supposed to have the joint trajectory controllers but if you open that file, you will find that file is completely empty. Due to this, the robot will not work properly. So what we will do is, we will close this file and uh, I will open this uh, location in a terminal. So what you can do is, you can right click in this folder and click the uh, command open in terminal so it will open your uh, this folder in a terminal go to the pdf file so if you uh, want you can directly use the command cd uh, your home directory your workspace name src and your uh, move it package and the config so i am already there so now to we will now we will create a new uh, controller ros controller file so you can use the touch uh, space new underscore ROS underscore controllers dot YML command or you can directly use this uh, one. So basically if the file is not available, it will create it uh, newly and open it in a text editor. So I will type this command directly and press enter. So here is the new file created. So I will adjust it little bit. Now scroll down in the PDF file. Basically, we are not writing a new uh, joint trajectory controller. We are only uh, connecting our uh, controllers with the um, Moveit manipulator package that we have currently created using Moveit Setup Assistant. So here, just what you need to do is you need to give the controller list. Here, you need to give all the joint trajectory controllers that you had created. So if you have not watched that video, you can watch it from here to create the joint trajectory controller. Now uh, here I had created two joint trajectory controllers, one for my robotic arm and one for end defector. So if I show you, if you go to your uh, SRC folder of your catkin workspace and open this robot arm URDF, go to config and open this trajectory controller in a text editor. You will find here I have created these two joint trajectory controllers, which is this robot arm controller and the uh, hand underscore ee underscore controller so these controller names you need to give here as a name and uh, action and underscore ns will be follow joint trajectory and type will be follow joint trajectory default we will set at true and uh, the joints will be uh, after the joint stack you need to give your joints with this uh, hyphen before them and to uh, specify the new joint uh, then to specify the new controller, you again need to uh, 
uh, decrease the indent and you need to start with a hyphen name uh, colon your new controller name and the action ns will be follow joint trajectory type will be follow joint trajectory and the joints so the default true you just need to add for your robot arm uh, controller and for end effector controller you don't need to add it so what you can do is you can directly copy this code if your joint uh, trajectory controller names are similar to mine or you can copy this and paste the code here now uh, when you uh, paste the code you will lose all the indentation so you need to indent this code properly as given here so your controller list should be at zero indent this uh, the name definition must have uh, one indent and the action ns type default joins the joint uh, definition must be at two indent levels again the new uh, controller name will be at one indent level and other tags below that will be again on two indent levels so for one indent level in yml file we cannot use tab we need to use two spaces at the place of tab so here i will keep the controller list at zero indent for the name I will take the cursor before this hyphen and I will add two spaces one two and now from line number five to line number uh, 13 I need to add four spaces so I will go on line number five I will add four spaces one two three four similarly do for type one two three four similarly do for default one two three four 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 now for this uh, hand effector controller you just need to add two spaces so one two and again for this action ns you need to add four spaces one two three four similarly do for type one two three four similarly do for joints one two three four one two three four one two three four and save the file we have successfully uh, edited this file if you face any issue uh, to indent this what you can do is instead of creating it manually you can directly go here i have provided the link so you can download the file from here and also uh, please read the uh, instructions that i have given in this file so you will not face any issue now close this file and close the text editor we have successfully modified our uh, joint trajectory controller or we have created a now we have successfully created a new ROS controller for our uh, move it manipulator package the next thing we need to do is uh, there is one controller manager available in our move it manipulator package so that uh, that controller manager uh, is referring the ROS controller file uh, which was uh, generated empty by the move it setup assistant so we need to modify this so if you had seen the my uh, tutorial for ROS uh, melodic the name of the the name of the controller manager was like the package name of your uh, manipulator uh, package and underscore move it controller manager dot launch dot xml but in noetic the name of that file will be simple underscore move it underscore controller underscore manager dot launch dot xml so for that what you need to do is you need to go to your move it uh, workspace source move it underscore robot arm simulation or whatever the name that you have given to your manipulator package and its launch uh, folder there you will find this simple underscore move it underscore controller underscore manager dot launch dot xml so if i open my catkin workspace in its csrc folder if i open this manipulator package if i go to launch here you will find this simple move it underscore controller manager dot launch dot xml so here this sensor manager you can see it is named with the your uh, robotic arm uh, uh, package but the controller manager is named with uh, as a simple move it controller manager so right click on this simple move it controller manager dot launch dot xml and open it in the text editor so unlike the uh, 
controller manager for melodic here there is also another controller specified this simple move it controllers dot yml so you don't need to touch to that you just need to replace this ROS controller dot uh, yml file with your new uh, file name so if i go to my move it uh, uh, robot arm same package if i go to config so here i have created uh, this uh, new ROS controller dot yml so i will copy its name i will click rename and copy the name and i will leave as it is i will open this uh, controller simple move it controller manager file and here i will replace this one this ross underscore controllers dot yml with new ross controllers dot yml and i will save the file and i will close it now we have successfully created the new ross controller for our uh, move it manipulator package so we are done with this tutorial in our next tutorial we will write our own uh, launch file to load this uh, new uh, ROS controller and our URDF file and all the move group uh, thing. So please watch my next tutorial for the uh, creating the launch file. Thank you so much for watching my tutorials. Please hit the like button if you like my videos and do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching.